How has Dr. Billinghurst's teachings affected my career and my life? Dr. Ian's teachings and his first book have laid down the foundations of how we should be feeding our companion animals biologically appropriate diet, not scientifically approved diet like I learned in school. And even though I started my work as a holistic veterinary way back when Ian did, it took me years to catch up what Ian has laid down. Ian, once I met you and I realized how much a brother you have been and still are to me, despite being on the other side of the world, I want you to know how happy I am and how much I love that you are on this planet and in our profession. Like we say over here on the other side of the world, Ian, you the man. You set the example for everything. The foundation, it's your two awesome great books. Okay, it's three great books. I found two. <laughs> It's where the whole industry started. There are foods that started based absolutely on your model. And then everybody just improves, improves. And it's all about the dogs and the cats and making them feel better. So thank you. Thank you for being my inspiration. Thank you for everything you've done for our awesome community. Hi there, Ian. Um, I bet I'm the only person who's had difficulty pressing these buttons and performing this very easy procedure. Anyway, mate, it's good to see you again. You look great. Still a young chicken like me. Um, so, have you impacted my life? I would say the lives of millions of pet owners, um, certainly more so than me, um, personally. Um, I guess you brought a lot of people to the, the first few APDT seminars. Um, I used to always select the speakers and I had a computerized formula, 10 speakers that everyone wanted, 10 topics that everyone wanted, and then 10 people. And I would choose seven of them and Kathleen Chin would choose three. And one year she says, hey, we have Dr. Ian Billinghurst coming from, you know, way down under and he's talking about raw food. And I thought, wow, you know, I hope people will be interested in that. And they came in droves. Um, Kathleen had this really incredible knack for selecting out people and topics that dog owners wanted to hear about. So for a good few years, when you'd come over, um, it would pack the room. So thank you for that. It got the APDT off to a really good start. Personally, um, socially, it's always been fun, um, difficult now when you're way down there and I guess you're still way down there and I'm still way up here. Um, I pretty much had always, um, fed raw, not because um, I was uh, sort of the head of the campaign, it's just that, that back uh, when in England, we didn't really have dog food. And so we would go to the butcher and get some lights, and that would be lungs, like sheep lungs, and a few others that sort of um, entrails, tripe and stuff like that. And dogs got that along with our you know, dinner leftovers, which were healthy because we ate healthy food because we couldn't afford unhealthy food. Uh, most of it we grew ourselves, not just veggies, but animals. So as soon as Jack Kathleen suggested it, um, I thought, brilliant. Um, I also have another uh, big thank you from the refrigerator industry that back when uh, pet stores didn't have refrigerators. Now you have walls and walls of refrigerators. And so to see that you spark that off, um, I very much hope that you invested in the refrigerator. When I think about that, you were talking about this 30 years ago, I can't even imagine how the industry and even colleagues must have looked at you and thought you were crazy. I kind of know the feeling 
on what I have chosen to do. And I just want to say thank you for continuing the hard work and the education and the message of feeding our dogs raw, real food, and that you are a renegade and a pioneer. And I am so grateful for your existence and for everything that you taught me. You've been an inspiration for people who feel the push of going against the grain and what's standard. But being a truth seeker certainly has its drawbacks, but you've pushed through that and you've certainly given more than a bone to pet parents. I am a quick message to say, yeah, you probably don't remember the first phone call, but maybe 14, 15 years ago when I landed in Perth, Australia, starting work with Aussie guide dogs in Perth there and a young whippersnapper with a thinking, I am the boss of this nutritional game. And I was still just popping a few ingredients in on top of the best dry food. And then I start reading your book and I think, hmm, this seems incredibly easy. And I picked up the phone, I rang you and you answered the phone. So if you do, you know, and I thought, my God, it was like talking to Michael Jackson, you know, trying to tell my wife, she's like, you're such a loser. But, uh, you know, that book was just, I kind of read the book and it was just put so well that I thought, is this how easy it is to write a canine nutrition manual? I mean, my God, easy peasy. So I spent the next 10 years writing mine with the belief that it would be like a cool glass of water on a hot day in the outback. Check this out. And you release it. And then still daily in the forums, you see people saying, you know, so what book should we read to get a grip of this subject? And it's always give your dog a bone. Always, 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 always. So that aside, that painful, painful lesson for me aside. You have given me a career here. You know, I really do appreciate the fact that for the 10, 15, 20 years after you brought that book out, you and a couple of others took an awful lot of flack from your profession. Still are, no doubt, but they're much quieter now. It's not so cool because we've got all the studies to show that feeding real food to dogs actually is an incredibly beneficial thing to do. You didn't have those studies at the time, but we have them now. And so you were right, Ian, and they were wrong. And I hope that's a little bit of solace. Because, like I said, you put up a bit of stick, meaning I don't have to. I just get to ride that wave. And uh, it's given me a career. And uh, I'm genuinely appreciative of that. And so one of my honors would be to share a stage with you at some stage, an actual physical stage, not just the, not just the digital. So whenever I'm ready to fly back to the moon, I will be there. And so I will definitely see you in a, in a couple of years, Ian, and we'll share a beer again. And I'm looking forward to that. So uh, well done. Again, 30 years on that book, major success. And I should be proud. And we we deeply appreciate it, as do the millions of dogs worldwide. Dr. B completely changed the way that I feed my pets. After I met him for the first time in person and saw him speak live, my whole world turned upside down in a good way. I learned the incredible value importance of raw, meaty bones and the importance of not overcomplicating the way that we feed our beautiful carnivores. Dr. B, you are a legend, and I appreciate you with my entire, entire existence. Dr. Billinghurst made it possible for people like me to practice integrative medicine, to talk to my clients about the benefits of raw food for their patients and how much better these animals will do when they're on a fresh, balanced whole food, raw diet. So I am forever indebted to Dr. Billinghurst for paving that way and making it possible for people like me to help countless animals in my practice. So thank you. Thank you, Dr. Billinghurst. Dr. Billinghurst, I am so grateful for all of your work and all of the things that I have learned from you. You've made such an unbelievable difference out there for so many animals. Just change their lives for the better. You're inspiring. Every time we talk, I learn something new and powerful from you. And I'm just thankful that you are such a force of good. From every pet who wishes they could tell you but can't, thank you. Thank you for making the world a better place. Keep it up. Our pets need you. Ian, I can't tell you how much impact your work has had on my life. A friend of mine went over to Australia in the mid-90s and came back with this funny white book and said, this is the future. This is raw food for dogs. I was studying homeopathy at the time, and 
I thought, yeah, yeah, you know, it's all about the energy. It's all about homeopathy. It's all about holism. But then it suddenly struck me because within homeopathy there is a concept called eliminating obstacles to cure it suddenly struck me how how right you were how right the idea of feeding raw food is that it is absolutely central to every every interaction that we have as vets with dogs with dog owners you can do amazing orthopedic surgery but if the dog was eating rubbish before the surgery and is eating rubbish after the surgery your chance of a complete success is much 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 reduced also with medicine you know medicines are great antibiotics steroids herbs homeopathics they're all fantastic but if you haven't got the basics of of raw of the building blocks going into that body then you've got nothing to allow the body to build on going into the future. Since evolution began, food has been the biggest impact on health. It always was, it always is, and it always will be. So, Ian, I just have to say to you, your impact on my life has been revolutionary and my respect for you is without end and i really want to say that that you've done some great work here i'd like to consider you a friend and i hope you and Roz are really well and that you carry on producing this fantastic work and inspiring us and the next generation into a world of the best nutrition well done mate lots of love from us in sunny cornwall take care about 25 years ago my clients started coming to me and asking me about feeding raw food and at the time i had never fed raw food and i didn't know anything about it so of course i gave them that old answer oh i think there's too much bacteria in there i don't know if i would then I stumbled upon Dr. Ian Billinghurst and his barf food, and I ordered it for my own dogs. The changes in my own dogs were nothing short of miraculous within a very short period of time, and I was hooked. So I started investigating who was this Billinghurst guy and what was he teaching people, and it totally changed my life. Because I have been an avid raw feeder, a raw feeding promoter, and I love feeding our pets raw food. And if it wasn't for Dr. Billinghurst, I never would have fed that first raw meal to my pets. So thank you, Ian. Dr. Billinghurst really introduced me into a raw feeding diet presentation to my clients. I had started to do raw diet. I had no clue what I was doing. And after his book was written and I got to hear him at the American Holistic Veterinary Medical Association meeting, I realized this was a, di a direction I really wanted to guide my clients. And over 35 years, I've been feeding raw food, but then in the last 30 years, have had the guidance of Dr. Billinghurst. With that, I've expanded the use of raw, of not only raw meat, but raw vegetables and plant-based, and also have really gone into the microbiome. And if we didn't have the raw food and the fresh organic food that I was feeding my own personal animals, the discovery of the use of the microbiome may not have come about so easily. But because I was protecting my own animals from the contamination of processed food and feeding them as fresh and raw and organic, we've been able to preserve this microbiome and share it with thousands of animals around the world. And I thank Dr. Billinghurst for giving me that introduction and giving me the opportunity to understand why a biological balance in the body is important, not only for that individual, but for the microbes that care for that particular animal. So thank you again, Dr. Billinghurst, and happy anniversary. Ian, you've changed my life now twice. So about 24 years ago, I bring home this adorable 
English black lab puppy named Buddy. And he was pretty sick. And after about four traditional conventional vets that I had fired one after the other, I luckily linked up with Dr. Marty Goldstein. And it was Marty's office that said, you need to change this dog's diet to raw food. And here's the person you need to go to. And they linked me up with you. And I didn't think I had the time to read your book, Give Your Dog a Bone. So we got on the phone and we did a few phone consults. And within just a few phone consults, I immediately took action, changed his diet and saw results in four weeks. And within six weeks, I considered him cured. He had never his entire life had those problems. And that same black lab, big, vivacious, I would say aggressively athletic black lab, Live to 16 when most dogs don't, most big dogs can barely live to 12. And so I want to thank you for the life he had. I want to thank you for changing my paradigm of nutrition for people and dogs. And maybe that's what dogs are in our lives to do. And then two decades later, I reached out to you to tell you about this fermented superfood blend I was doing for my new black lab. Gus. And it was you that gave me the confidence and the cheering on to start this company. And us working together on this company has been the professional joy of my life. But more than that, it's been our friendship that has meant more to me. I want to say congratulations on a life well lived and a career that is brave and you've, you've had the same message for over 30 years. And you've changed millions of dogs' lives. And you've changed my life. And I think through our company together, we're going to change millions of other dogs' lives. And I want to say I love you. And uh, thank you. Congratulations. Dr. Billinghurst really paved the way for people like us to share the content that we do. And he walked so everybody else could run. He really did the dirty work up front when a lot of people especially didn't believe in that kind of feeding. So he's the father of raw. He is the one that has allowed creators like us to make a living sharing what he's discovered. He's an integral part of everything that we do and have done. Dr. Billinghurst has made a huge impact on my veterinary career. He's been able to make the transition into helping my clients and ultimately my patients live their best lives by feeding them raw food diets and helping my clients feel more empowered about how to do that, how to do it safely, and how to really provide the best nutrition for my patients for living their best and longest lives. So thank you again, Dr. Ian. You're the best. Dr. Billinghurst's first book, Give Your Dog a Bone, and his second book, The Barf Diet, were both inspirational and informed the recipes that we use in our Shine Pet Foods every day. Thank you, Dr. Billinghurst. Someone had to be the first and it's never easy to be in that position. I wish I could say I was enlightened enough to recommend raw diets, even though I have been in holistic practice as long as Dr. Billinghurst. It, for many years, I assumed that raw diets were a step too far. And it took my wife <laughs> feeding them to our animals and showing us that, boy, do they ever work for me to eat some crow before I started feeding some raw. I am very happy that Dr. Billinghurst inspired so many people to create so many offerings that when I was ready to eat crow, there was lots of it there. Thank you, Ian. Dr. Billinghurst has been hugely impactful on the raw food industry and helping to spread the word about the benefits of feeding dogs a biologically appropriate diet. So I'm forever grateful for the work he has done to make this way of feeding more mainstream. And he was truly courageous and brave and dedicated to do this at a time when very few people were, were thinking this way. I think Give Your Dog a Bone is on every serious raw feeder's bookshelf and everyone who's involved in the raw food industry has read it. And 
if not, should read it. So forever grateful for everything Dr. Billinghurst has done for the raw feeding movement. So veterinarians are notorious for not liking raw food. And while I was on my raw feeding journey with my own pets, I worked at a veterinary hospital and, you know, it kind of was solidified that just most vets really don't accept the raw diet. This is kind of a big reason why people start to get turned off with raw food because their vet does not think it's healthy. They think it's unhealthy for their pet. And I came across Dr. Billinghurst and his books and, you know, the fact that he was a veterinarian really kind of solidified the fact that raw feeding is healthy for pets. There are veterinarians out there that do support the raw diet. And obviously Dr. Billinghurst is very passionate about it. And he has really nothing to gain from that. I'm sure a lot of veterinarians and peers that he has, you know, spoke with and worked with, maybe they completely thought he was, you know, they didn't agree with him at all. But he stuck to that belief, and I very much respect that, and I look up to him a lot. So thank you so much, Dr. B, and congratulations again. Dr. Billinghurst's journey has been an inspiration to me, thinking back to where he got started, persevering in having a deeper understanding of that relationship between pet health and diet the courage and tenacity it took to challenge the traditional norms of feeding at that time and being a visionary to come up with a whole new paradigm on feeding through evolutionary nutrition. It's an extraordinary journey. Also, one of the most significant things that he did for me was to help me gain a deeper appreciation of ancestral roots. If we are going to truly understand who our pets are, what their needs are, and how we can best relate to them, you have to understand those ancestral roots. And this had a impact on my perspective on the science of feeding your pets. I'm Dr. Ruth Roberts, the original pet health coach, and I read Give Your Dog a Bone 33 years ago when I was just entering veterinary school. And this book made me think, oh, so there are other options other than the bag of food from Hills or Iams or whoever else came on the scene. So Dr. Billinghurst, thank you so much for having the courage to write this book so that you could educate pet parents to the fact that real food is the real answer to sustaining health. Also, your time and effort in educating us in the veterinary profession has been amazing as well. We are slow to change, but with persistent, constant force, we can help educate our other colleagues to learn that indeed real food is the source of real health. I came across Dr. Billinghurst's book, out of necessity, really. At the time, I was taking care of two Afghan hounds who had chronic diarrhea, which, of course, is not a very good look with all the poop smeared all over their butts and the hair. So they required daily washing. So after I read the book, we basically switched these animals, cold turkey, to a raw diet. And just within a couple of days, their poop was solid, had no smell. I mean, you literally had to put your nose on the poop (laughs) to be able to smell anything, whereas before it just had a really nasty stench. So that was my introduction to raw, although I have to say I was introduced to raw with my mom because that's what she was feeding our childhood dog. But nevertheless, in the process of going to vet school and not really paying that much attention to nutrition at the time, it was really an eye opener to see that returning the animals to eating what they would eat in the wild was really helping to change things in their bodies and how quickly that could actually occur, especially in the gastrointestinal tract. So thank you so much, Dr. Billinghurst, for the amazing work that you've done for bringing so much awareness into the animal world and the nutrition world and for giving us tools to help our animals be healthier and for me as a holistic veterinarian to be able to 
really support my animal patients and give them a really good foundation nutritionally because that's really as as i just said it's the foundation of health so thank you so much for giving us that huge gift and for bringing the awareness to that subject and helping so many animals through all of us veterinarians and pet parents who are reading your book and and applying what you're teaching thank you so much dr b has been someone i looked up into industry and his information and passion and love for this topic has helped so many pet parents me with the work that i do and making fresh feeding overall more accessible and sustainable for any pet parent to do because at the end of the day any fresh foods better than none. Back in 1993, we didn't have a lot of options. If we wanted to feed raw or if we wanted to feed cooked, we had nobody to turn to. And then your book came out, Give Your Dog a Bone. It was like a light in the dark. And I want to thank you because that book has to the test of time. I can still go back to it 30 years later and go, yep, it's all there and we're still following your guidelines. I want to thank you for changing the raw feeding movement and starting it. We will carry the torch and keep spreading the word and continue to turn to you for your guidance and your expertise. Thank you so much and happy anniversary on your book. In 1994, I heard about this amazing book and this amazing man, Dr. Billinghurst and Give Your Dog a Bone. I was embarking on opening the first licensed holistic veterinary hospital in Canada. And I can't tell you when I would be recommending raw food to my clients, how important it was to have somebody that had that credibility, that had written the book and written it in such a way that everyone could understand it. And it made so much sense. Speaking to other veterinarians and other colleagues about why I was recommending raw food. He was such an inspiration and such a grounding tool for me and sort of paving that way in Canada for me in Vancouver to have raw food accepted. It was hard enough to do it on our own. But one thing I wanted to say, Ian, is what's so amazing is not only did you write this book and not only did you have this credibility, but you had such a wonderful heart. And I emailed you, you didn't know me from Adam and you helped me along and you were so supportive and so kind and so generous with your information and your wisdom. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart of how much you helped me in my career in my veterinary hospital way back, I think it was, or 29 years ago. So pretty much when you first wrote the book, I can't thank you enough and I can't send enough love and appreciation for what you've done for the community and of holistic veterinary hospitals and nutritionists and pet parents. So thank you. God bless you. You're amazing. And I hope you have tons and tons of love and you can feel everything, how important you were and how important you are and happy anniversary. There are lots of reasons why I'm so thankful that you have done what you've done. Obviously millions of animals living healthier, happier, fuller lives with less disease and degeneration is an amazing gift to the entire pet wellness community helping animals regain their vitality from illness and disease using food as medicine, a beautiful gift to people who are now using your common sense, basic principles of feeding biologically appropriate food has opened up the option for people to be healthier because they're applying principles that you have taught to their own lives using food as medicine. But one of the things as a veterinarian I'm so incredibly thankful for is your kind and gentle spirit in the desire to unite the veterinary profession, that our colleagues that maybe don't understand what we do or why, you do such a beautiful job with an open heart 
and a desire for ongoing conversation to help bring other veterinarians into the knowledge of recognizing how powerful food can be. And you've done it diplomatically and kindly and in a way that brings the veterinary community together and doesn't divide us. So you've got many traits and beautiful qualities that the entire world is thankful for. The Animal Kingdom thanks you for bringing the wisdom and the knowledge that nourishment matters. And me as a veterinarian, I'm so very thankful that you are a vet whose heart's desire is to bring us together to use food as medicine. So thanks, Ian. Actually, it's very hard to say anything. Thank you. But thank you. give your dog a bone. I wrote it so that I would never have to speak about raw feeding again. I thought if I set this down, my clients can read the book and I'll never have to start, I'll never have to, sorry, talk about raw feeding again because they can just read it in the book. Well, on both, both counts, this was a complete failure. My clients probably never read the book. They just kept asking me questions and I have not talked about, well, in lectures and in presentations, I've talked about nothing else ever since. However, that's not been a bad thing, has it? And this has been tested, well, there has been enormous testimony to this fact by this wonderful lineup of speakers. I thank Rob for presenting this to me and I thank all those speakers for their wonderful words. And I thank them that they've adopted this way of feeding. I thank them on behalf of the animals and I thank them for making my life worthwhile in that sense. You know, when you go out and do a lecture, you don't know to whom you're speaking, really. You don't know who's listening. And you really don't know what impact you're having. And until I watched this lineup of people, many of whom some of whom I don't actually know, many of whom I spoke to years ago, and that includes Rob, and then, of course, you don't think about it. You just answer the phone and talk to people and give what you have. And you don't know what impact that's having. So I thank you for sharing your thoughts and what my words, my life's work has had and what influence it's had on you. I do thank you so much. I am quite blown away by the words and, and the kindness that you've shown to me. And, and, and what can I say? It's You've thanked me and, and I thank you for just letting me know. I've often remarked, it's funny that um, people at their funerals, people speak so kindly of them. Well, it's kind of like I've had that before I've gone, and really that's really lovely, so so, so thank you. Um, I know that's a weird thing to say, but I am indeed blown away, so thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody that's done that, and I will continue to work in this field, I'll continue to push my ideas forward, and indeed, your words encourage me to go forward and to help continue teaching the word about raw food. And yes, a lot of you have noticed my hidden agenda, which is this is very much about human food, human nutrition, human health as well. So that's where my life's work is. Uh, health, both dogs, well, both humans and their companion animals. And basically, it's so simple, evolutionary nutrition. 
Uh, I know I'm stumbling through this, but um, that's just my usual way, I guess. Uh, it is simple, and it's available to everyone, and you don't need a PhD or a spreadsheet or a computer. You just need basic common sense and a knowledge of how our animals evolved. And one of those wonderful people I've just listened to made that point. So thank you all, and um, I'll, con I'll no doubt be speaking to you all very soon. Thank you.